I feel like that's like a really popular ice cream place. It just wasn't doing it for me. Hey guys, it's McKenna. Today, I'm doing something that I'm very excited about. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited to do it. I'm going to be trying a bunch of different brands of ice cream to see which one is the best. And this is all like store-bought ice cream that you can get at your grocery store. I tried to pick ones that are like available everywhere and aren't just local places. So I'm pretty sure you can get these everywhere. I bought them all in the same flavor. I bought cookies and cream because that's my favorite. And I'm gonna try them all and compare them and tell you which one is the best. I love ice cream. I feel like I'm very qualified to do this. I I don't know why I'm qualified to do it, I just am. My ice cream is melting at the moment, so we're just gonna hop right into this. I don't know how I should do this because I got 10 different brands. Should I just rate them all out of 10? That seems to be the easiest way to do this and then just remember, oh, I'm gonna put price in this too. I forgot I have all these receipts in my pocket. Price matters, price matters a little bit, so I'll tell you the price of all of them. But I think price differs depending on where you get it. The first one I'm gonna start with is Baskin Robbins. This is $2.99, so $3 for this little thing. It looks like that. There's not much cookie on the top, I'm not gonna lie. I'd like to see some bigger chunks. There are some big chunks, but $3, I want some cookies. The cookies don't have much flavor. Like if you just eat the cookie by itself, it doesn't really taste like anything. Ice cream is really good. Ice cream's really creamy. I would like the cookie to be a little bit more flavorful. I want it to taste like a cookie. I'm gonna be a little bit harsh towards the beginning, I think, because I don't know what to expect with the rest of them. I'm gonna give this one a solid 6.5 out of 10. Cause it's good, but it's the first one. So I'm, I'm, being, a, I'm being a little picky. Next is Cheesecake Factory. I honestly didn't even know that they had ice cream like this, but when I went to the store, they had it. Oh, it says there's cheesecake in it. Wait, cookies and cream cheesecake ice cream? There's sour cream in this? What? Okay, I don't know. But this one was $5.50, so a little bit on the pricey side, but oh. Okay, maybe it deserves to be on the pricey side. That looks good. I tried not to get ones with anything else in it, so I could just, you know, purely be cookies and cream. This one does have other stuff in it. Wait. Hold up. Here's the deal with this one. The cookie in this tastes really good, but the only thing that I don't like about this one, and I think it is because it's Cheesecake Factory, that the ice cream tastes like cheesecake. I like cheesecake, but this is very sour creamy. It's not very like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it doesn't taste like vanilla ice cream. So I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. It's really good. But as far as like cookies and cream ice cream, it doesn't, the cookie is really good and that's why it still gets a six, but the ice cream is very sour cream me. So did I just not read it or is it not great? We are on to the next one, haagen -Dazs. Is that how you pronounce this? Probably not, but it is what it is. This one was 350. That's not a good sight. Also, I just wanna say this is obviously not sponsored by any of these companies, so this is my real opinion. Normally, I'm the kind of person that's like, oh, I don't wanna be mean to anybody, but like, I feel very passionately about ice cream, so I'm gonna tell you if it's good or not. This isn't looking too good, this looks very plain. I'm gonna try to dig out a cookie, because the ice cream is like, mm. This has like barely any cookies in it, you can see it. I mean, I didn't dig all the way in it, but like I can kind of see. There's not much going on here. The cookies are kind of bland, like the Baskin Robbins one, now my favorite cookies, and the ice cream is very average. Like it's not amazingly creamy, it's a little icy. So I'm gonna give haagen like a five out of 10. The next brand is Prairie Farms. And these at my grocery store were on sale. So I got this for $2.50. I don't remember how much it was, but I feel like it was like around the $3, $3.50-ish. Okay, so this one has little pieces of cookie. Mm. Again, kind of bland. I don't like how it's just a bunch of little pieces because you don't get the crunch. So I can't really even tell you what the cookie tastes like because I can't really taste it. And the ice cream, again, kind of average. Not amazing, not terrible. So I'm gonna give this one a 5.7. So we moved on to the bigger containers. Those were the only ones that I could find in the little ones. We're gonna try Blue Ribbon next. This one was $3.79. Okay, that's not terrible. Not mad at that. For the price, not mad at it. This is what I like. This is good. This, the, the cookies that are in this are the cookies that I like. They taste like a cookie. Like if you just eat the cookie without the ice cream, it would taste like an Oreo or like, like an actual cookie. It doesn't just taste like a sugar 
thing. The ice cream, average vanilla ice cream, you know, it's just, it's like the I, any kind of vanilla ice cream you'd get in like the freezer aisle of your grocery store. It's still really good. I'm giving this one a 7 out of 10. Maybe a 7.5. I really like this one. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna bump this up to a 7.5. It's very good. This is, you can never go wrong with this one. We're doing Blue Bunny next. This one was $6. Okay. Hang on. There's some good ice cream. Oh yeah, cookies, extremely flavorful. And the ice cream is so smooth and you can still taste the cookies without it making it too sweet. This one's getting an eight out of 10. Blue Bunny, eight out of 10. You're great. We've moved on to favorite day, which I've actually never had this ice cream before, like any flavor of this ice cream. This is the brand that you can get at Target. This was $2.79, so the cheapest one so far. Okay. That's a little bit not enough cookie on the top, but maybe there's more deep down. I'm giving all these the benefit of the doubt that just because I'm just eating off like the top, that there's more deep below the surface, if you know what I mean. Okay, this one, I don't want to say it doesn't taste like anything because it, it tastes good. It's just really bland. Like the last two were like really flavorful. You could taste the vanilla ice cream. You could taste the cookie. This kind of just tastes like sugar. Good consistency on the ice cream, very creamy but doesn't taste like much. So I'm gonna give this one a six, just cause it's, you know, compared to the last two, we're comparing and contrasting here. This one doesn't have as much flavor. It's not as like, oh my God, that's amazing. It's more, I'm just like, okay, that's ice cream. But for the price, the price is pretty good. Turkey Hill is next. This one was 350. So I feel like that's pretty average. They're starting to look the same. I'm not gonna lie, but they all taste different. Oh, this one's really good. The ice cream tastes good. The cookie tastes good. You can taste the cookie. It's hard to tell because on the top, it just looks like there's a bunch of little pieces. There's some big pieces over here. I'm going to give this one an eight. This one's pretty good. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to make it to 10 because like I'm, I'm leaving room for like a nine or a 10 out of 10 because like I don't want to fully say any of them are perfect because I haven't tried all of them yet. Because like if I were to rate that a 10 out of 10, then it would win. But I don't know because I'm not finished yet. Do you know what I mean? Edie's is next. Is the, Again, is this how you pronounce... Well, I've always pronounced this Edie's, but I feel like... Is it Eddie's? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. This one was $7.29. Over $7 for this thing of ice cream. This better be delicious. This better be the best one because it's very expensive. Okay. For $7, I'd like to see some bigger chunks than that. That's just me. $7.29 for that. This one I'm gonna be judging pretty harsh just based off the price because that is not okay that they're charging that much for ice cream. And it's not even that good. The cookies in this are really good. I like the cookies in it, but the ice cream kind of tastes like nothing. It's not very good vanilla ice cream. And you can see like into the side because it's not filled up all the way either. But you can see into the side that there's even like further down there. There's not many big cookies in there. This is getting a five out of 10. But it's it's it would be okay if it was like three, four dollars, but for seven dollars, no. We have one more brand of ice cream, Briars. There's like a hole in the top. This looks pretty good. It looks like it has some nice chunks on top. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you the price. This one's five fifty. Mm, I'm not really a fan of that one. It's good. I don't really know how to explain it. The ice cream's really creamy. The cookies taste really good, but again, the ice cream is kind of bland. This just like, it tastes like store-bought vanilla ice cream. Which I mean, is what it is, but compared to ones that we've tried prior to this one, it's getting a 6.5 out of 10. Now that I've tried all the ice cream, um, I have written down all of my ratings on my phone. Number one ice cream. Oh, we have a tie. The tie is between Blue Bunny and Turkey Hill. So those are my top two. Blue Ribbon was a close second. Top three, Blue Bunny, Turkey Hill, and Blue Ribbon. If you want cookies and cream ice cream and have the same taste buds that I do. That's why I was kind of explaining as I tried them all because not everyone has the same taste buds. Not everybody likes the same thing in their ice cream as I do. So I kind of explained to you what I liked and what I didn't like about it. And then if I said that I didn't like something about it and you like it, you know which ice creams to get. But that's just my personal opinion. Least favorite. Oh my God, was Hawk and Dust? I feel like that's like a really popular ice cream place. It just wasn't doing it for me. Prairie Farms, 
also wasn't very good and then the rest were just kind of average i hope you learned something new today was this an informational video maybe was it an excuse for me to just buy a bunch of ice cream and eat it yes but i had a lot of fun so thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing and supporting me and giving me an excuse to do things like this i really appreciate it and i wouldn't be able to do it without you so thank you i love you i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so that you never miss a post and i'll see you guys next sunday with a new video